Hello my friends, welcome back to another day of Sister Summer. I'm in the car today. I'm in my mom's car. I am headed to go get a spray tan before Bonnaroo. I am having a really slow moving day so far. I went out last night and just ended up out really late and feeling really, really, really crappy when I woke up this morning. So I've been sleeping and I feel a lot better now than I did early this morning. I haven't eaten anything today and bagels are just like a lifesaver. So this is an everything bagel with cream cheese from my favorite bagel place if you guys live around Johns Creek area in Georgia. Or if you're ever here, go to Brooklyn Bagel Bakery. It is the spot, seriously, the spot. Um, so I'm going to head to my appointment now. And I also wanted to answer like a quick thing because I'm in the car right now um, about my car. So I never even explained in the vlog a few times ago when I said I don't have a car anymore um, basically Alejandro my car is still in my life Alejandro is here basically I, I a few months ago I decided that I didn't need a car downtown anymore it's a hassle more than it's like nice to have basically and I don't use it enough driving like long distances of places really to justify having it anymore so it's just like so expensive to own a car and drive it in LA so my dad is gonna help me sell it so I shipped my car here and my car is still here because we have not sold it so um, I don't drive my car when I'm here though because everything's expired like the registration and all that stuff so that's the reason for that when I was like I don't have a car anymore a lot of you guys were like what are we still gonna get car vlogs yes you will still get car vlogs because for when I go on like road trips and stuff which I'm totally still gonna do I'm gonna be renting cars so you got out will still have a lot of like road trips and car vlogs and all that kind of stuff um, just not anymore Alejandro so that's the story on that that was a long little intro but I've been getting questions about that I'm gonna go now hi guys <laughs> so I just shoved the camera like up on the dashboard it's probably not the greatest angle but I really just wanted to talk to you guys I'm kind of in a little bit of traffic I finished my spray tan and I had such a good experience I just have to rave about it <laughs> so I went to a new place that I found on Yelp Yelp is how I find everything I get airbrushed hands or sunless hands so it's kind of like like it is a spray tan but it's different than a typical spray tan because you don't go in a machine and get it done when you have someone that airbrushes you um, it's such a better tan it lasts longer the color is better you just get a lot more for your money so at home I haven't gone to a place like that but that's what I get done in LA so I searched airbrush tan on Yelp and I found this place called spray studio it's in Sandy Springs if you guys live in the Atlanta area um, seriously I was so impressed looks at your exact skin tone so that's also why it's so much better than a machine because they do it according to your skin tone and how dark you want to be it takes basically like 12 to 24 for your tan to develop normally unless you get a rapid one then it can develop in a few hours but I usually just get a regular one you can shower off after you know like I think after eight hours or so the ladies were so nice to me it was my first time going obviously and they just first of all the place is so freaking cute but they have all of these individual rooms so it's not just like a studio it's like a whole just like place where you go into a room and then somebody comes in so I met the lady Alicia who owns it and she was just like so incredibly and so incredibly nice she was asking me all about my life I like when they like talk to you when you're getting it done because I mean I feel like if they don't and you're just standing there like wearing you know nothing um you can wear a bathing suit if you want to but I just like usually go nude or in a bathing suit bottom because I don't like to have like lines especially up here but the lady Alicia who owns it was doing my tan and she did such an incredible job literally did like everything for me so just thorough and nice to me and amazing seriously you guys if you haven't gotten an airbrush tan and you like you know being tan it's definitely obviously a thing right now with the summer I got mine because I wanted to be tan for Bonnaroo and this tan you guys will last like more than a week it will seriously be amazing looking in like eight to ten days still if you live in the Atlanta area seriously look up spray studio right now on Sandy Springs like I said off of Roswell Road and you will have that was the greatest tan, tanning experience I have ever had I will definitely be going back um, probably in a few weeks like I'll probably go back and get one before electric forest so amazing I'm heading to a coffee shop right now to edit I have so much editing to do and I really just want to get it done so I'm heading to I think it's called Chattahoochee 
coffee co or something i have never been so we're gonna check it out it looks like a pretty good place i also found it on yelp yelp is my life you guys if you don't use yelp to find places it's a life changer <laughs> i okay i've been talking this has been a really long clip so bye guys freaking check this out right now this coffee shop is actually inside an apartment complex which is over here <laughs> so there's like a pool over here a beautiful lake oh my god i'm freaking out right now this is amazing All right, this place is so freaking gorgeous so many pretty flowers and then there's like an apartment complex leasing office right here which is actually like really gorgeous inside such a pretty day out today too the sun is shining i think i was just there for like two and a half hours or so a while but i got a lot of work done on my routine video i basically just have to add some music and then um do the voiceover i'm pretty into this sunset right now i love this song my woman is here we're reunited i haven't seen you all day how have you been? We've been both busy today though. Lots of things to do before Rue. Have you been, what's you been up to? Just planning out like my outfits and what I'm bringing. Like, Has it been successful? I've been packing though. Yeah, this is so typical of us. <laughs> We're at Panera. I look really you know, Why am I here? Dark. Megan's eating her cookie Who before her. Before her. <laughs> Who opened this? Um, I got like a half tea and a half lemonade. I'm really excited for this meal. Uh, see you guys. This is my favorite salad. It's the Thai with chicken salad. Got to get that Panera Mac. And they didn't have baguettes, so I got a little chippy tonight. I look so dead. Yeah, you do it, Ken. <laughs> okay, that light is blending, but um. You had to one up me. Michael's here. Oh hey. <laughs> oh hey. Um, it is so late. It is literally midnight, and we just started packing up the car. We're gonna leave at 6 a.m. And I still have so much to freaking do. But I told you guys in the last vlog I was gonna show you what I packed for a camping festival. So we started loading up the car. So I want to show you what we already have packed. I'll show you my other stuff like in detail, like my outfits and everything. But this is like what you need for camping. So we have a bunch of folding chairs a bunch we have a cooler yeah shout out to you for these michael brought all of them um this just has like stuff for the campsite um snacks in the back we have like a bunch of water and jugs of water for taking showers slash like you just need so much water i have a bunch of more like camping and like fun stuff in there this is like a bag of all of my like kind of like toiletries my sunscreen and like body products and stuff like that towels two um battery powered fans which are like the greatest thing of life is that the back yeah this is the front mm. so we have one for each of our tents this is like some of meg's stuff this is my sign that i got that i wanted to make into a totem it says we still might this is a good sign and i want to make it into a totem but i need to get some of that like pipe stuff <laughs> <laughs> some, <laughs> some of that some, pipe some stuff of that. <laughs> so yeah that's what we have so far so tired I'll talk to you guys when I'm like done packing in a few hours because I have so much to do. Oh my god, your fingers look like really long for some reason. Like why do they look yeah, like Yeah, they're that? not. They're really stubby. Alright, so I have officially started my packing. So I want to show you guys like the initial stuff that I'm bringing. This is most of everything besides my outfits, I think. Um, which I haven't planned out yet, but I'll show you guys when I have them all done. Hopefully it shouldn't take me too long, but I want to show you guys... The stuff that I bring to a camping music festival. So, <laughs> hopefully this will help some of you guys out or at least be interesting. I have pajamas, a pair of leggings, and hoodies. It's always good to have that stuff for the night, obviously. I have a sports bra and bathing suit bottom for, you know, showering purposes. Showering. Um, it's just like a stuff that can easily get wet and then dry i have a couple things that i don't know if i'm going to use but this is like a really teensy little like it's like a belted um little holder i don't know i have a clear fanny pack that i might bring one day i also have the inside to my camelback the little straw and everything might put that in my backpack but i'm not sure i just kind of want to have these things 
just in case. On this side, I have sunglasses. I'm bringing three pairs, I think. Actually, four pairs. A phone case, because honestly, I'm going to switch out my phone case. And a couple pairs of shoes. I think I'm going to bring one more pair besides these two. Definitely these two for sure. Maybe another pair if I can fit them. In this bag, I have a bunch of jewelry. This is my backpack. I like to bring a suitcase like this for obviously clothes and stuff and then I like to bring a backpack with stuff that I like can really easily access like I'll put this in the tent and I'll just have everything at really easy access <laughs> access so I have like you know my wallet which I'll move into my bag I have headphones you need you need to have headphones at a camping music festival because at night it's really really hard to fall asleep at least personally for me with like all of the noise that's going on um slash in the morning it's really just nice so i got like my festival wristband i'll show you guys this is the rue wristband for this year it's the 15th anniversary it came with some cute like magic stuff as well my car camping pass wow i'm really taking you guys through everything basically this is just like stuff that i want to like easily have so i'm gonna fill that and bringing a coloring book this is actually so cool i started doing one of them the other day i started coloring in this one and i need to finish that and some colored pencils honestly like might not use this but it's kind of just like fun to have like i like to bring stuff to do at the campsite this is socks and undies i'm doing laundry right now so i need to like i only have like two pairs of underwear here that's not going to be enough. Some of my toiletries and all that stuff that I'm bringing. A few things I already packed in the car. I have tampons and panty liners just in case I might be starting my period. God help me. Like, please just let's not do that mother nature but just in case your girl is prepared. I have my makeup bag. This is my brushes. I have makeup remover wipes, facial sunscreen, facial hydrating mist. These are both first aid beauty. I got some sunscreen. I have another one of these as well. I've got that. It's going to be like 100 degrees this weekend, so very necessary. I have a body wash for, again, like showering with my water jugs. Deodorant. My favorite perfume is Toka um, Colette. Sorry, that didn't focus, but I'm lazy. Little baby toothpaste. I'll pack like my stuff that's in the bathroom, which is like my basic things. Um, oh my gosh, where is my shampoo and conditioner? I think those stuff is already in the car, so I'm just going to add this stuff to that pile. I have some hair ties. I have some Cottonelle wipes. And then I went over to my friend Layla's house and she lent me some jewels because I love doing jewels above my eyebrows. You can just get these at craft stores and they're really, really fun. And then I have a hand lotion. Don't know where I'm going to put that. This is my bag that I'm going to be bringing. I showed you guys what's in this bag in my last video on my main channel so yeah now i'm gonna pack my outfits i went to free people today you guys and i went insane because honestly i haven't been like actual shopping in so long i got so much stuff it might not even look like that much but honestly like this is a huge ass bag so i'll show you guys once i have my outfits planned i'm gonna go ahead and do that now hello guys it is currently almost 5 a.m we're departing my house in like a little over an hour for Bonnaroo. I just got out of the shower. I actually didn't have time to go to sleep tonight, which I knew that I wasn't going to because we were leaving like before 6 a.m. But um, I haven't had time yet to edit the vlog for you right now that I'm filming right now. So I'm gonna edit it like in like 10 minutes. I'm basically done packing. Anyway, I have so much to do tonight. I was finishing up editing a video that I had to get like done for a brand. You guys will see that in the next like week or so on my main channel. Anyway, most of like parts of my outfits. <laughs> All right, so I'll show you. I got these new shorts today from Free People. They're just like an off-white Levi high-waisted short and I'm gonna wear my Where Is My Mind. This is a Jack Vanek tee that I cut up. I love that shirt. And then I got these two today too. This looks so, so, so good on. I will have to take a photo for you guys. This is like a blush colored um, skirt. I got this in white as well. And this top I also got today at Free People. And it's a really pretty maroon, lacy kind of like crop top. And then this is a really, really soft and comfortable. It's actually so freaking soft bodysuit. I also got today from Free People. 
Um, I'm gonna wear black high-waisted shorts over this. They're in the dryer right now. I think I have to try it on but I think it's gonna look good and then lastly are these pants that I also got today from free people and they're really really cool they're flowy I'll have to take a photo in these as well they look really pretty on and they're super light and airy I was feeling weird about wearing pants because it's gonna be so hot but honestly these are gonna be more comfortable and like flowy than if I was to be I kind of feel constricted in high-waisted shorts so that's why I only have one pair and those ones are a little bit like kind of loose anyways they're not too tight i'm probably gonna wear a white tank top or something kind of basic with this i don't know yet i wanted to end off this vlog i think it has been a pretty long vlog today um because i have to go and edit this now and try to get this up for you guys but i did want to say oh my gosh hopefully you guys watch to this long so you will know this i probably should have said this earlier but i'm not going to be able to upload my next two vlogs until we get back from Bonnaroo because obviously I'm like gonna be in the middle of nowhere camping and there's not gonna be like internet access so I'm gonna be vlogging on Friday and on Sunday but then I will upload those probably as a combined sister summer probably on Monday so you guys will just have to be patient for a few days but that's only like three days or so so three or four days to wait after this one so it shouldn't be too bad I love you guys so much thank you for watching give us all a good thumbs up if you enjoyed I'm so tired I need to get coffee I'll see you guys at Bonnaroo.